Good evening. The community out here relieved tonight after hearing of the arrest. Now, the suspect reportedly confessed to the murder, but there's still no motive. The suspect's family saying he suffers from mental illness. His capture, though, caught on camera. An hours long standoff coming to an end early Monday morning after an intense manhunt. SWAT officers deploying tear gas, forcing murder suspect 29 year old Kevin Salazar to surrender outside his Palmdale home. Terrified neighbors had to be evacuated. It was chaos because it was a lot of a lot of police uh, activity over here. 36 hours after the murder of our deputy. Uh, the men and women of our department arrested him. LA County Sheriff Robert Luna saying he's confident they have the man responsible for the death of 30 year old deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer. Luna credited the community for helping make the arrest. Different people started to come forward. So you have that vehicle, uh, the pictures of it. Tips from the public and a car that matched the suspect vehicle led authorities to Salazar. That same vehicle appearing to drive up next to deputy Klinkenbrumer's patrol unit Saturday evening then taking off. The ambush style shooting happened right in front of the Palmdale Sheriff's Station. Numerous firearms were recovered from the home. Clinton Broomer was a third generation, eight year veteran of the department. Ryan's family will never see him again. Excuse me. And he was murdered, ambushed by a coward. Despite an arrest, there is still no known motive. Salazar's family is saying he suffered from schizophrenia. La schizophrenia is horrible. Salazar's mother in Spanish saying he heard voices and she had called deputies out to the home on multiple occasions over the years, but nothing was ever done. A memorial growing for a young deputy who had just got it engaged to the love of his life last week. Now, gone too soon. My heart was broken. Like... Why? It's senseless. And taking a live look here outside the Palm Palmdale Sheriff Station, you could see as a memorial continues to grow, people continuing to drop off flowers and candles. Memorial services for the fallen deputy are still pending. As for the murder suspect, he's expected to make his first court appearance Wednesday morning. Reporting live in Palmdale, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Carlos, thank you.